AIDS, HIV and AIDS. I didn't get it by sleeping with people. One day I was, I was coming from school and I was walking with my friend. Okay, my friend, he was drinking and he, like, he, he also likes girls. So he, he was involved in a car accident while we were still walking with him. And then he was getting injured. So I, I was having a cut in my hand. So I rushed to help him. I think that's where I get it, mean, because I just touched his but I was trying to rescue him. So, and then he was the one who also encouraged me because he, when he was going to the hospital, they tell him that's when you're already infected. So he came to encourage me that I must go there because maybe I may get that disease when I was trying to help him there. So automatically when I go to the hospital, that's where I find it was positive. And the message which I have for this was this, it's only that they must stop making their minds difficult. They have to go for HIV test. Because even if you are well, you can feel yourself that, no, I'm still well. You have to go there. Because if you know your status is better, because then staying at home, and then when you go there late, and then you're already sick, so it's difficult even to heal you. And when, if you have been called there, while well, there's still time, you can still, they will give you counseling, and then there are things which you are going to minimize from doing it. Because if you don't go for testing, you'll continue doing things which will make the disease get more power and affect you. So what I can say to us is that they must go for testing and not their status. The stigmatization is the one which may cause the people to die actually. Because when maybe go to test it and then you find that it's positive, when he comes back home, he's not welcome. Everything is provided, these things separate. And even here at home, when they're sitting, nobody wishes to sit next to him. So those things also kill the, the person's heart. Because he would be thinking that, oh, which means me, I'm useless. For example, there is one of my friends which I know. They, when he came back and he told his parents that you know, he was HIV positive, they just buy him a red cup, a red glass, a red dish, a red blanket. That was a symbol here in the house. Everybody knows that. When he enters the house, he will have a question mark. Why this one is using red things? I'm trying to tell the people, let's know you can't get rid of HIV by sharing hands, sharing glasses and dishes. So that's why, because those are the main things that at home state they used to do to give you separate dishes. So that shows that discrimination in mind. That's why we started the stigmatization. So you have to welcome them, share the dishes, even share with food with him. You can't get HIV by sharing food with him. So that they will comfort him, so that every day he will feel comfortable and happy, you see. To fight against stigmatizations. Yeah, that's my dream, to fight against discrimination among resources. That's those people who are affected, and they must treat them like human beings like them. Especially even at workplaces, some of them, they will stay away, even pointing you with hate. He's already affected. Some of them, they don't even call with you with your name, they'll call you a ah, positive one. So my other thing is really affects persons. The way we talk towards those people, you must have a, a, a way of talking to them, not just talk anyhow, because it really affects. And also, to encourage young person that they must you know, stop thinking many things. If they have to go and find that they are already infected, they must accept it, because there is no way to change it. And they must not even think to go and kill themselves, because that doesn't mean that when you're affected, that's the way life, life, life ends. But life is still going on. Like for example, on I have been participating on those things of ordination from Clemento Stunus, who are fighting against HIV and AIDS. There was a lady from USA, Judith. He, she said that she has been living for 18 years with that virus. That is, it also gives me power and encouragement that no, although I'm infected, I'm, going, I'm still going to live for a long life. So much is to encourage young people that know although they are infected, they must not think to kill themselves. Life still goes on and they can live a long life and achieve their goals. So they must accept what's their status as it is. And also to add on top of our parents that they must welcome us. Although in infected, we are still their child, nothing has changed from us. We are still human beings. They must accept us as we are and life continues as usual. So my name is Zakel Nklang. I'm from Lubombo, it's my, it's I have been, oh, I'm 21 years old 
and I have been living with this virus since 2007 up to now. Yeah.